Tori people, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tori, thank you so much for being here today. As you can tell, I have a little bit of a different setup and it's mostly because the sun is setting right now and I need some lighting. I actually don't know if this lighting is very good. For today's video, I wanted to share with you all the mood board that I've created for the fall time. I made one a few months ago now for spring and summer 2022 and I felt like that was actually a pretty successful mood board so I thought I would make one for fall. I'm actually not including winter in this just because I have a feeling that once winter rolls around I might be updating it a little bit um, whereas spring and summer I feel like it's a pretty consistent time whereas fall and winter you have a lot of different holidays and a lot of different things happening so yeah let's just jump in so I have my, my trusty iPad right here and I'm going to walk you through some of the things that are inspiring me I'm not gonna make myself feel bad if I stray away from this mood board but I just think it's a really great exercise to help me kind of get those creative juices flowing so this is my mood board for fall. One rule that I have about making mood boards that I think all of you should follow is that you definitely should put yourself on your mood board. I feel like I see too many collages that people make where it's like just featuring other people's lives, but I do feel like you definitely should have yourself on your mood board because you should be inspired by yourself. So let's kind of move left to right, top to bottom. On the top left corner here, I have a little view of Chicago that I took the last time I was there. I have this on here because I'll be going to Chicago in a few weeks and I definitely want to dress for a more crisp autumn weekend when I'm there. Hopefully it'll be a little bit cooler or at least cooler than it is here in LA. I also have on the corner a little bit of a velvet scarf that I have. I thrifted this around this time last year and I really want to find a way to incorporate it into outfits, whether that's tying it around a bag, tying it around my waist, around my neck. It's definitely one of those pieces in my closet that if I don't find a way to style it this year, then I'm probably going to get rid of it. And then moving on as we go right, you can see that I added my little Balenciaga bag, which I also thrifted this summer. And I definitely want to style it more, especially now in the fall and winter, because I feel like the color that I have is very cool tone and is very fall appropriate. I also have on here a photo of Jason Schwartzman and Kirsten Dunst from Marie Antoinette and I just kind of have this on here to remind myself to wear my Heaven by Marc Jacobs shirt that I have that features Kirsten Dunst. I also have this on here because I like the energy that I feel exudes from the photo and it's definitely something that I want to bring back when I'm hanging out with my friends this upcoming season. Um, and then if we keep going, I just found this cozy, very cool, very orange toned room from Pinterest. It is like the perfect fall California vibe for me. And I really like the green from the cacti and the orange from the painting and just the general mood. Obviously orange is like the autumnal color. And then speaking of orange, I have this photo of myself from when my hair was orange last year. And I just have this photo of myself on here because you know what, she looks great in that sweater vest, I can't lie. Um, but also just to remind me to like continue to wear pieces that I already have. I also felt like last year because I did dye my hair very funky colors, I dyed it pink orange and then eventually green. I stayed away from really warm autumnal colors because I didn't want to look like a pumpkin but now that I have my natural hair again I feel like I can rock some more orange so that's definitely on the mood board. Okay as we move down I feel like we can start with like um, these models that I have on here. Another tip that I have for you if you're looking for like fall and winter inspiration is to use the Vogue Runway app. I really love it. I know Fashion Week just happened a couple weeks ago, but that was for spring, summer 2023. But I do love going on there and looking at the collections that came out for the upcoming season. So I looked at a lot of collections that were meant for fall and winter 2022. I believe this first look right here is from Ghani's fall and winter 2022 collection. I was really drawn to the greens in this outfit and also the clogs. I have a very similar pair of clogs so this model is here kind of just to remind me like you should wear your clogs this fall um, and then I also just have a lot of green. I have like my with jean dress that you'll see later but I just have a lot of green 
in my closet and I kind of wanted to use this to remind myself to wear green more as well. This next model is definitely from the Louis Vuitton Fall Winter 2022 collection and I just love this outfit. This outfit has everything I love. It has a trouser, it has a shirt with a nice funky collar on it and you can't really tell from the way I've layered it but this jacket is also kind of like a more straight oversized jacket. And I did thrift a few more straight cut jackets over the summer. I definitely wanna wear those more and see if I really vibe with them. Um, so I have this look on here as well. I also think the concept of like wearing a tie is very hot. I learned how to tie a tie literally a month ago for like um, a little costume I did with my friend. So now I'm kind of like obsessed with the concept of wearing a tie. And then the next model we have here is Harry Styles. This is from when he arrived in Venice for the Venice Film Festival. And I love this outfit. I'm pretty sure this is like head to toe his Gucci collection. And I want that cheetah bag so freaking bad. I'm like, I'm like, what in what? <laughs> imagine a world where I could have that like. Harry Styles cheetah Gucci bag. Like that is a very me bag to have. And then again, I feel like the greens in his sweater remind me of the greens in the Ghani outfit, which remind me of the greens that I have in my closet. So I was like, okay, this is the fall of green. Even though my hair is no longer green, we will be rocking green. I love these jeans that he's wearing. I feel like I definitely need to find a pair that looks like that on me. Again, the cheetah print, I love cheetah print. I've said it before and I'll say it again. For me, cheetah print is not a print. It is a staple, it is a neutral, and I will continue to wear it forever. And then behind them, I put in a few mood images. I have this photo of like really fun eyeshadow looks, which Pinterest tells me is from the 60s from Vogue. And I really like those eye looks. I really wanna to try to incorporate those when I'm going out this year, perhaps when I go to the Harry Styles concert or for Halloween this year. Just wanna like play more, be a little bit more playful with my makeup. I also have on here an art piece by the photographer Man Ray. I love this photograph. I think it's stunning and I got the chance to see it in real life and I, my life was changed forever. Just like concept of like these like crystals that look like tears and this like, this really voluminous mascara is definitely another kind of eye look that I want to try this season, whether that's for Halloween or for a night out. Um, and then I don't know if you can see behind the models, but I also have this like stack of books and a little dirty martini in the back to remind me of other things that I love and other things that remind me of fall, which is like going to a bookstore, having stacks of books to read and also just a nice fun cocktail. Um, and then if we keep moving to the right, we have a photo of me. This is me when I was in front of City Lights Bookstore very appropriate in San Francisco. And I really just love this outfit that I wore. And then above me, I have this photo of a newsboy cap, which is a cap that I also recently re-picked up for my mom because my mom does not purge my things. And I really just wanted to bring this back this year for this fall. I feel like that'll be a really fun piece to style again. And then next we have this model who's wearing a fabulous dress from Coach. And while I can't get that exact look, that's definitely another way I want to incorporate more cozy materials and more cozy vibes in my closet. Like I am someone who lives in Southern California. Like it doesn't make sense for me to buy a million sweaters even though I did just get this one. But I kind of just wanted something to remind myself that you can buy like really fun cozy pieces and they don't have to be a sweater. The last thing you see is on the side and it is this newspaper print dress, which I recently got from with Jean. This dress was also on my summer mood board, but I decided to incorporate it here into my fall one as well because I want to find ways to continue to style it because I don't feel like I wore it enough in the summer. I felt like all summer I was waiting for the perfect occasion to wear it and after that perfect occasion happened I'm like okay now I can wear it to wear it to bits so I definitely want to try and do that this fall. And yeah, that is my mood board. Now I'm gonna move so. on to my little inventory of stuff. So after I made this mood board, what I did is I went through my closet and I pulled out all my favorite fall pieces slash pieces that I bought earlier this year that I bought specifically for this season. And what I did is I just like hung them on the back of my door and I took photos of them to kind of create kind of like a share Horowitz catalog to like remind myself of the pieces I already have. So then the next times I go thrifting or I'm just like perusing online, I kind of have a better understanding of what's already in my closet and I can buy things a little bit more intentionally. So when it comes to this little catalog of all the stuff that I have, I didn't put any pressure on myself to make it extensive. Like I didn't want to catalog every single item. So 
I'll go over this part real quick. Throw it up here on the screen as well so we can just dive in. The first two were also featured on my spring and summer um, mood board, but I quickly realized that this spring and summer was way too freaking hot. So I did not have the opportunity to really wear these jackets as much as I wanted to, but I feel like they're perfect for fall anyways. So I have on the left this thrifted brown jacket um, with embellishments that give off like kind of a military vibe. I also have on here this yellow suede straight cut jacket. I feel like this jacket really gives me big like diesel energy, but also big hackers energy. So I really wanna bring that kind of sporty energy into some fall outfits this year. I also have this brown jacket, which is another one that is kind of cut a little more straight. And it's a Coldwater Creek one. And I was initially nervous to buy it because I was like, okay, Coldwater Creek, that's so grandma. But I feel like It'll just be a challenge for me to kind of style it in a little bit more of a modern way. And I feel like because puffy vests are coming back, like this jacket will be perfect for this fall time. And then the last jacket on the top is just this slightly oversized square cut suede jacket. So obviously suede is the perfect material for fall time. So I definitely had to add that to this list. Moving on to shirts and tops. I have five tops right here. The first one that I have here is this pretty basic striped Uniqlo t-shirt. The next thing I have on here is a cardigan. It has this iconic Missoni look because it was from the Missoni and Target collab. You can't really tell from this photo, but it also has a bit of like a metallic sheen to it. And I mentioned a couple videos ago that one thing I really want to embrace this fall is kind of like the metallic looks. I mentioned this Heaven by Marc Jacobs sweater vest already. I don't need to dive into more detail. This next top is a top that I bought for a Synesthia screening because my friend Emma and I dressed like Jennifer Trek and Adam Brody's character, who I'm forgetting his name, but I'm pretty sure it's like Nikolai or something. And I was Nikolai and I kind of want to style it in less of a costumey way and more in like my own general style. So that's why I threw it on here. And then I also have on here my other um, Heaven by Marc Jacobs top, which is the Lex top, which I was talking about earlier. Moving on to this little quadrant at the bottom right here. This is kind of like my skirts, my dresses, and my pants. After making this little collage, I realized that one thing I really want to find very soon is a very good pair of jeans. First thing that I have here is a lilac midi skirt. I also saw some publications like Vogue and Harper's Bazaar were recently talking about how pastels are in for this fall. I also have on here these red pants, which I call my pop star pants. I got these at the Roseville Flea Market also this summer and I wore them for a Penny Lane Synesthia screening. I definitely want to incorporate more into my everyday or into more concerts that I'm going to this fall. So they're on here. I also have on here this really long denim skirt, which I love. I thought the long skirt is very self-explanatory. It's been really in trend lately, especially starting in the spring, but I just found one for myself and I wanna wear it so much more. And then the last skirt I have here is my realization part cheetah skirt, because like I said, cheetah print is a necessity for me. And then finally on here, I have two dresses. The first one I have on here is this green paisley dress. You also can't tell from the photo, but it also has a bit more of a metallic sheen to it. And I really just wanna wear this one more this year. I feel like I've had it for a couple years now, and if I don't wear it this fall, it's probably a dress that I'm never going to wear, so I will get rid of it. And then the other dress I have is my with jean dress because as we saw in my inspiration collage, green is a huge color, especially the shade of green. Okay, how do I look? You had to move, so <laughs> I hope it looks okay. And then for this last little quadrant on the right, I kind of just have a few more pieces that didn't fit into their respective rows. I have on here this denim jacket that I thrifted that Honestly, I was very inspired by Harry's house and his like album cover. It kind of gives like a bit of like sailor slash child energy, but I'm really trying to find a way to style it this fall. I also have on here this lilac purple cardigan. I mean, look at the grandma collar. Obviously, I'm obsessed with it. And again, I heard that pastels are really in for this fall, so I really wanted to incorporate those. And then I also have on here this vest. I love a vest. And if you've been following this channel for a while, you will know that I have styled a vest multiple ways, multiple times before. To round out this little area, I have two bags and a scarf on here. The first one is this purple slouchy bag. It's suede, it's purple. I think it's perfect for the fall time. I can already kind of see the way this bag goes with certain pieces on this collage. 
And then the last thing I have on here is this iconic cheetah print bag, which gives me hairy Gucci energy, but also like this is a really fun bag. I don't know, I feel like the possibilities are endless because I will, I will clash patterns, I will clash colors, I'm not afraid to do that, so yeah. Let me see if I have any lingering like tips for you all, especially for creating a mood board. I would definitely say go through your closet, see if you can find inspiration from yourself, whether that's looking through your old Instagram photos, or looking through your physical closet. That's always a fun way to reference yourself. Look through your favorite like movies and TV shows. I feel like so many of my favorite movies take place in the fall. Like you've got Mail and Notting Hill. So I always love to take inspiration from my favorite protagonists. I'm definitely someone who needs a bit more of a visual but I feel like if, you, if you're someone who like can take inspiration from music. Yeah, I think I'm slowly becoming a Pinterest girl, but I can't say that for sure. Honestly, I really do love the Vogue app. Um, what else? Yeah, use your real life. I feel like because I have so much planned in the next few weeks, like I'm going to Chicago for Harry Styles. I'm going to Rena in November. I kind of have some events that I'm really excited to dress for like concerts and Halloween so I always feel like incorporating what I want for those events also helps me get inspired in general for a season um but yeah that's it thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you for the next one bye